what are my top five B&M coasters? And more importantly, what is my favourite B&M coaster? Well, hello there, and you're watching the official Theme Park Fans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see in my other video title, so I'll be uh, telling you guys what are my top five B&M coasters. So, if you don't know, I think it was last week where um, I did a video on what are my um, what well, what is my favourite B&M invert coaster. If you haven't seen that yet, then I will leave a link for it in the description below, so you can go check that out. Um, so, yeah. My top five B&M coasters, so um, unlike the last video, as I said, where I told you guys what my favourite B&M invert coaster was, um, this is my top five B&M coasters, and that means I can use any type of B&M coaster, so it doesn't matter if it's, um, if it's a B&M invert coaster, a B&M uh, wing coaster, um, a B&M hyper coaster, you know, um, so it, it doesn't matter, so, yeah, so, um, before we start the video as well, I want to say, if you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single video. So anyway, it was very hard doing this, you know, I I counted on, I, I counted how many B&M coasters I did and I think it came to about 11, I think it was about 11, and to narrow it down to 5 was so difficult, but I did it, and uh, without further ado, Let's begin. Let's start um, with my fifth favourite. So, um, my fifth favourite um, B&M coaster is the Swarm at Fort Park. I really love the Swarm, you know, because it's unique to the country. Um, it's the only B&M wing coaster that we have in the country. And the theming for the Swarm is pretty good. Um, and, I've, and I have said to you guys before that my favourite seat on the Swarm is the... Um, I think, I think I said it was the left hand side as you go over the first drop. Um, that That is really good. Or did I say the right hand side? It, it was even one of the two. I can't even remember now. But yeah, I absolutely love the Swarm for what it is. And um, it's my favourite um, It's my favorite being a wing coaster. I mean, I've, I've, I've only been on two being a wing coasters. Um, the Swarm, of course, um, at Fort Park and uh, Raptor at Gardaland. So um, out of the two, I prefer the uh, Swarm. It's just it's just a really good coaster, the Swarm. And, and also, the Swarm is my favourite coaster at Fort Park as well. So, that's why it gets into uh, fifth place on my top five B&M coasters. So, the next coaster in fourth place is Silver Star at Europa Park. Again, I really like Silver Star. And um, I think if it wasn't for Shambhala... More on that in a bit, more on that in a bit. <laughs> I, I think it would be my favourite B&M hyper coaster. And yes, I've probably just given away what is my favourite B&M coaster, but oh well. So yeah, I think the thing I like most about uh, Silver Star is the whole ride experience. Um, because, you know, it's your it's your usual B&M um, hyper coaster. Uh, it's, your, it's your usual um, B&M hyper coaster, isn't it? The only thing I don't like about Silver Star is, <sighs> it's the theming. It's the theming because, like, I look at some of the other coasters at Europa Park. Um, Voden, I, I think Voden is very well themed. Blue Fire, I think I think the station in Blue Fire is very well themed. Um, and 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 also the um the pre-launch bits, you know, before you launch out on Blue Fire, that's very well themed. Uh, what else is very well themed at Europa? Um, but anyway, yeah, you, you get what I mean, guys. You get what I mean. Um, and it's just the theming of the ride. Like, is it... Yeah, this is where I struggle, guys. This is where I really struggle. So, as I was trying to say there, um, the theming for Silver Star, it's like themed around the Mercedes-Benz car. And... It's a bit of a weird, bit, bit of a weird theming, isn't it, guys? So, Silver Star, I like it as a coaster, but the theming, it, it's just, yeah, it's just a bit meh, isn't it? So that is my fourth bit, uh, my fourth favorite B and M coaster. So now we are moving into the top three. Ooh, okay, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so my third favorite B and M coaster is. Nemesis at Alton Towers. Ah, oh, Nemesis. 
You can't beat a good classic, can you? I absolutely love Nemesis and... And... Come on, Will, what was I going to say? I was going to say, um... It's it's just a, it's just a great classic Nemesis, isn't it? And like, ever since I took my first ride on it in two thousand and thirteen, I haven't looked back. And um, as I said to you guys for um, as I said to you guys many times before, I hope Nemesis uh, stays at Alter Towers for many many years to come. And it's just got everything about it, Nemesis. Like, and 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 also the the other thing about Nemesis is that it's kind of a unique B and M invert coaster, like. I mean, if you look at some of the B&M invert coasters in America, for example, you know, they're really massive out there. Um, Nemesis, it had to be dug into the ground, literally. And that's what makes it a very unique B&M invert coaster. And also, when it opened in 1994, it was, the, um, it was Europe's first um, B&M invert coaster. So, it's a very unique coaster, Nemesis. And uh, many theme park enthusiasts still enjoy Nemesis to this day and um, and that's why it's my third favourite B&M coaster it's just an Alton Towers classic isn't it so um, now moving on to my second favourite B&M coaster and um, you probably would have guessed this if you saw my favourite B&M invert coaster video it's Osiris at Park Asterix so yeah this is my second uh, favourite uh, B&M coaster and it just misses out on top spot um, so when I went on Osiris in 2015, wow, five years ago, um, again, I am going to have to try and remember um, from when I rode it. I mean, I've only been on it once, but um, when I went on it, it was just an amazing ride experience. Because, like, like during my ride experience, it almost felt like I was, like, gliding through the air and... I couldn't believe how smooth Osiris was. So anyway, I'm not going to talk more about Osiris because I did that in my uh, favourite B&M Invert Coaster video. So if you want to see me talk more about Osiris, then do go and check out that video, which is in the link. Wait, no, not in the link. It's in the description below. So yeah, go and check that out where I talk more about Osiris. So guys, that leads me to my favourite B&M Coaster. And I think you all know what it is by now. Shambhala. Port of Ventura. Shambhala is just an amazing ride experience, you know, um, from the moment when you're going up the lift hill, and should I say the really tall lift hill, and then you go down on that first drop, and, and that feeling when you're going down on that first drop on Shambhala is really spe uh, special, um, you know, especially if you're sitting on the front row, and it's just an amazing ride experience, Shambhala. Now, I do know that some people think it's overrated, and you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that your opinion is wrong because, you know, we are all allowed opinions. So I'll let you have that opinion if you think um, Shambhala is overrated. Um, but but for me, I just think it's a really special coaster. I mean, yes, the theming, um, the theming could be a bit better, um, but I just really love it. Um, <laughs> I know, like, I'm kind of saying the same things I said about Silver Star, you know. The theming for Silver Star is a bit... You know, funny, um, but I, I think Shambhala overall is just a, a really, really special ride, and um, you get so much airtime on Shambhala, especially if you're sitting on the back row and your restraints, your lap bar restraints is it's not fully in, but it's just like um, it's a bit loose, shall we say? And if you're on the back row with a loose restraint, you're gonna get plenty of uh, time. So there we are guys, That those are my top 5 B&M coasters. I am sorry if I, um, you know, didn't um, do this video like, um, like, uh, well, I, I really didn't do this video really well. I, I just kind of rushed it, didn't I? So, um, yeah, it hasn't been the best video, has it? Um, now, before I do go, I want to do um, some honourable mentions. So, these three B&M coasters, they didn't quite make the um, top five B&M coasters for me, but they were considered. So, the three honourable mentions are Black Mamba at Fantasyland in Germany, uh, Raptor at Gardaland in Italy. You know, I did speak about Raptor not long ago when I was talking about the Swarm. And finally, Dragon Khan at Porto Ventura. So yeah, those are my three honourable mentions. They just missed out on getting that top five spot. 
and for my top five B&M coasters. So anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the video, I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure you didn't because like it's been a bit awkward this video. But if you did enjoy it, non nonetheless, then please do give it a like. Um, as I said before, if you would like to become part of the Theme Park Bombs family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description below, so please go check that out and give it a like. And um, the next video will be coming out on Friday, so I'll see you guys on Friday for the next video. And yeah, I just want to apologise once again that this video hasn't been the best, you know. I think I've kind of rushed it a bit and um, I haven't really thought of what I wanted to say about this 5 b &M courses. But as I said, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, you know. I mean, I do try my best for every video, but um, sometimes I do struggle with these videos. So um, I do apologise about that. Um, is there anything else I need to say? I don't think there is. No, I don't think I need to say anything else. But once again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm well done you. Thank you for watching, Beatbox fans. And it's time to close the video down. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.